Hello, my name is Warren Hill and I'm a product specialist at Gasco. Gasco, in an effort to better educate our customers and add additional value, has developed a best practices training series. Our intentions are to better explain, better educate, and to ensure a helpful understanding of what gas regulators are and discuss their normal operation. Gasco represents three major manufacturers of combustion gas regulators. They are Census Metering Systems, Pietro Fiorentini, and Maxitrol. In this series, we hope to answer any questions that you might have. If you have questions or require additional information, please feel free to contact Gasco toll free at 1-877-427-7347 or through our website at gascoonline.com. In order to better serve our customers, we have developed sizing tools, which we'll discuss later. But first, let's talk about what information is needed so that we can pick the correct regulator for the application. We need the maximum and minimum incoming gas pressure to the regulator. We're going to need to know the capacity for the load to be regulated, and that can be either in CFH or BTUs. We need to know the regulated downstream pressure or the set point that's required. What type of gas are we going to be regulating? What is the line size? Also the equipment or system turndown. What is the maximum flow required relative to the minimum flow requirement? Is it indoor or outdoor service? If it's indoors, can we go ventless? What type of equipment are we going to put this regulator on? What is the length of pipe run from the regulator to the load? So after we've gathered all the information from our customer, we can then proceed to Gasco's website, which is located at gascoonline.com. After getting onto our website, you will find all of the data sheets and the IO and M manuals. But we will be concentrating on the sizing tools. So on the lower half of our website, you will find the Census, the Pietro, and the Maxitrol sizing tools. So once you've landed on the GASCO homepage, we will look at the Census program, which can be opened by clicking on the Census icon. So you're going to be required to put in the minimum inlet pressure, the maximum inlet pressure, the outlet set pressure, and the maximum capacity required. Each one of these, as you can see, can be put in in PSI or water column for both minimum and maximum and outlet set pressure. You can put in the maximum capacity required in either CFH or BTUs. In our application, we're going to be using natural gas, which it means that it's going to be 1,000 BTUs per cubic foot. At the bottom, you're going to see the project details, which you can put in the customer name, the project name or equipment number, and the customer PO. So let, at this point, we're going to put in 5 PSI for both minimum and maximum, 11 inches outlet, and we'll see that we'll have to change and go over to the water column. Our maximum capacity required is 1,000 CFH, or a million BTUs. We can now put in our customer name, Gasco. Project name, Warren. We can also put in our customer PO, 12345. Click the continue button. We are now on page two. We list all of the project details up here at the top. We go down, it's given us all of our information, the parameters that we've had. On this page, it has now picked, up the op, picked out the optimum regulator, which is a 14380. But if any of these regulators are listed on this page, they will work for your application. This time, we'll click the Continue button. It takes us to page three. Once again, all of our project details are listed, all of our parameters that have been, that have been given. It picks out the optimum orifice, which is a 3 8 It's chosen a green spring. It's telling us that it has a one inch vent and that this regulator has an IRV. Continuing down, we click the continue button. It takes us to page four. Once again, it lists all of our project details, gives us all of our parameters, 
And more importantly at this point, it gives us our model number or our complete ordering code, which can be used to order the regulator from Gasco. In this case, we have a 143-2, it's an inch and a quarter, it's a 3 8 orifice, and it has a green spring. All of the other information is below. If we go up under supporting information, we have the technical bulletin for the 143-80. We can also locate the 143-80 IO&M manual. At the bottom, at this time, if we have made a mistake or we want to go back and change anything, we can hit the back button, go back and correct it, and then move forward. We also have the print screen. You can print a screen of all of this information. We have the save to file, and if you have any other applications that you need to work on, you can hit the start over and it will take you back to the beginning. At this time we're going to hit the save to file, create a PDF that can be used, saved and used to send to our customer. It's going to list all of the information again, our customer name, our project name or equipment number, and our customer PO. It's going to list all of our parameters that we've been given, the complete model ordering code again, and all of the other information again. So remember, the gas regulator is designed to regulate gas and does not know the piece of equipment it's going on. If you have any questions or need any help, please contact us at Gasco at 877-427-7347. Today we've discussed our regulator sizing tools, but remember Gasco is so much more. So visit our website to view our full product offering, including regulators, meters, and related accessories.